Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel is Finding Value. Uh, I'm going to give a ratio update. I'm going to show you a bunch of different charts to show you what the ratios look like and how they're changing. And I'm going to give you my opinions on actions that you should be taking in the markets. Uh, again, this is my opinion. The ultimate decision is your decision. So it's going to help you make your decision on what you probably should be looking at and possibly doing. So here we go. We're going to jump into a ratio update. So the first one is the Dow to Gold ratio. Uh, we're in this channel right here. Uh, it popped up to the upper end of the channel. Uh, again, when this is declining, that means that gold is outperforming the Dow. As this is going higher, uh, the Dow is outperforming gold. My guess is that this is going to go back down and we're going to see a big move down at some point. I can't tell you when. It's a big waiting game. So eventually you're going to see the Dow come under pressure and you're going to see gold start to outperform because that is the cycle that we're in. That's the period that we're in. And if you don't think it's this period, please watch my other videos. I have a lot of videos out there showing you why I think that we are in a commodity super cycle going higher. Next, uh, the gold to silver ratio. What that do is doing is go, uh, silver is outperforming gold and that ratio is compressing. It's still at 77.4, which means that it is favorable to buy silver. We're in a small pullback. It's, you can see the pullback right here and that ratio is holding steady and it will eventually compress. Uh, I think we're going to see major compression in the future because of the demand for silver. We have massive demands out there for green renewable technologies. This, this is going to compress, and it's probably going to compress to a level that we haven't seen in a very long time. That's my opinion. This is the gold to copper ratio. It bottomed in that Fe uh, March, April time frame, and we're heading down, and it broke out of its chart pattern. What this means is that copper is outperforming gold at the moment. Uh, we're probably going to see copper outperform. This is very good for copper companies, and that's why we're loading up on copper companies. We can also see that in those charts. If you notice and you're watching my market updates, you can tell from the technical analysis that all of those charts are breaking to the upside. That means that copper is doing exceptionally well and is outperforming gold. We can see it in the ratio. We can see it in the charts of VALE, SS, or SCCO, NILSY, all of those that produce many base metals are starting to break out of their chart patterns. And this is just another confirmation to show you that is a legit move and that we're going to continue to outperform and outpace the price of gold. Next is the gold to platinum ratio. Again, this was moving higher and up, which means that gold was outperforming platinum. This is game on for the stock market when gold is outperforming platinum. This ratio is reversed and it's broken to the downside, meaning that platinum is going to outperform gold uh, and probably continue to do so. We're seeing a lot of the industrial metals, copper, nickel, in here platinum, <clears throat> and silver are all starting to outperform gold, which means that the industrial metals are starting to outperform gold and that this commodity bull market is on its way and is started. We, are, we have already started a commodity bull market by looking at all these ratios. This means that if you don't own platinum, you better get in it immediately because it's starting to outperform. You got to get in it. Next, this is the gold, the gold to oil ratio. When, the, when this price goes down, oil is outperforming gold. We were in this long channel sideways and it broke to the downside. What this means is that oil is outperforming gold. Now, if we have outperformance of gold coming up where gold goes higher, it may mean that all of these will go higher with it. So we have to be prepared. We got to start buying oil companies, uh, platinum, physical platinum, and, all, and uranium and all these things because we're seeing the outperformance uh, and the ratio compress now. That means that these things are moving. They're starting their moves. Uh, here's the gold to natural gas ratio. <clears throat> the, the, the actual bottom here of this ratio was roughly, looks like June and July. And you can see this top and now it's coming back down. It broke out of its pattern 
and it's starting to chop down very volatile <laughs> uh, down. Now, if you look, we got all the way up to 1150 and the bottom in 2018 was 250. And I think it's even lower than that back here. Uh, you're going to see a massive compression in this ratio, uh, which means that natural gas is going to outperform uh, gold. Now, if gold goes higher, it's going to drag all of these commodities with it. And I think you're still going to see a compression of this ratio, even if gold is moving higher. It means that inflation is working its way into the system. So here is the gold to palladium ratio, and you can see it's in this channel. It means that palladium's outperforming gold. Obviously, if you've been watching the prices, you're gonna say, duh, but it's around 0.8. So the conclusion here is, uh, it looks like industrial metals and energy are outperforming gold at the moment, and I think they're gonna to continue to do so. What this is telling us is that we gotta start buying natural gas, platinum, oil, uranium, uh, the base metals, we gotta get on it, this is it. Our, our opportunities are here. Uh, so we've got great opportunities in these sectors for long-term holds. Uh, these ratios are all supporting evidence uh, that, the, that the ratios are compressing against gold and that we're getting purchasing power gains through our investments in all of those sectors. The move has already started. And it's, it's seen through the ratios, it's seen through the prices of the actual producers, it's all coming. So we are at the beginning of this bull market, it's already started. So we gotta keep looking at my videos, watch them all, uh, see what my recommendations are, see if they fit into your portfolio. You can do what you want. Uh, and keep in mind that some of my picks, the mining companies, junior explorers, they have extreme risk. If you're risk averse, do not go into those companies. Uh, you might wanna look for other companies that are a little bit larger. Uh, some of my base metal companies are larger companies that pay very large dividends. That might be something you're interested in, in, in looking into. The royalty companies, uh, whether it be base metals, that's Nova Royalty. And then the, the royalty companies that I recommend for precious metals, which are, these are all in the description uh, of this video. You can, I will link everything. So make sure that you set up a portfolio that ma you know, matches your risk tolerance and spread it out because at bottoms, some of these companies might have difficulty obtaining loans. They might be going bankrupt. You gotta be careful. But also, those are the ones that have the most leverage to the upside when they do go. And you're gonna see massive moves, hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of percent gains if you have the cojones to hold on through everything. This channel is here to help you guys hold through all this. It's gonna get you the information that you need to see what the moves are coming, to see how cheap everything is, and to get you ahead of the curve. You know, so let's capitalize on what we know, what we're seeing, and let's take actions here. If you don't know what actions to take, if you're still confused, use the comment section, leave some comments. I'll probably respond to it and maybe even respond with a video. If you like this content, please subscribe. Uh, please click the thumbs up button to help me out. And I appreciate you listening. This is Finding Value, and thank you.